Okay, so let's talk about time management and what it means to manage your time effectively. So, so this is something I've been struggling with for a really long time and you'll notice a team here. I want to be clear about the fact that it's something that you will always continue to be struggling with. There's just so many different variables and life changes and things evolve. So the bottom line that you're going to have this perfect every single time is just not the case. Life is not perfect. Okay. So, but, but what I want to do is just kind of just talk a little bit about my journey in terms of how I've been able to manage my time and some of the things that I'm still struggling with today and how I think you might be able to kind of benefit from it. So with that, first of all, I just want to say like, the hardest thing to do is come up with a plan and then stick to it. And then on top of that, be consistently executing. It's very, very hard to sort of repeat that. So my general goals are in a week is to try and eliminate as much as it possibly, as many obstacles from focusing on the work that I need to focus on. So in other words, if the task this week is to launch a new product, make a sale, improve a customer sort of experience, whatever it is, the point is that, that that becomes the main focus. Every single thing else is a distraction. That's how I try to treat things. However, life happens. So therefore, there's always things that are going to come in your way. Family, kids, um, emergencies, whatever, right? So the question is, you got to start breaking things down into like smaller buckets because if you look at the schedule right now, at least from a time perspective, right? This, um, so I use a tool called Rescue Time, which by the way, I should give a shout out to. So, so Rescue Time is a tool that allows you to track all computer usage of your time. Of course, it jumps to the exact same thing that I have on the other screen. But if I go to rescuetime.com, which is what it is, I talk about this tool so much because I, I'll swear by it. Okay. So what it does, it basically allows you to just keep track of your time. And it seems like a very simple tool. It, it, they don't really have much information about it. However, what I can say is that I've been using this tool since 2008. In fact, if you look at my numbers here, uh, time logged it doesn't actually say when i actually signed up for the tool but i can tell you with some certainty that i've been logging a lot of hours in this platform and that's because i don't have to do anything right i don't have to do anything if i if i reinstall my computer or I install a new program the first thing i do is i put rescue time on it and then i lock it down so for example for today the second of thing if i just click on this it'll tell me exactly how many hours i actually worked on the computer and what's my productivity score? Productivity meaning how much, um, how many things I did that are sort of work that I did that's considered productive. So programming, um, sort of project planning, etc. versus non-productive, which is YouTube and a few other things. Now for me personally, YouTube is somewhat productive, but it's also, it's a little bit of both. So it's more in a neutral category. So this kind of gives you a score of that. So with that, so here's the deal. So I, I went back because um, so I didn't I wouldn't want to choose the last two like this week and the last week because they were a little bit anomaly because I was traveling. So you'll notice um, I, I, I traveled over the weekend. So my month, my productivity on Monday and Tuesday were very low. And then Wednesday, I start picking things back up again. So th this is not an accurate uh, sort of like graph of what my week looks like. However, and then the previous week I was like I mentioned, traveling. So I traveled on Thursday and Friday. So productivity sort of went down on those days and sort of jumped back up. But if I go back to sort of like a regular week, this is more or less a regular week. This might be a little more excessive because I did do some extra work and thing. But generally speaking, what you see with my productivity level is it kind of starts with a week, it kind of goes up and then it tapers down, right? That's sort of the pattern. If I go to the next week before that, you'll see the exact same trend, right? Well, this one's a little bit more even out, but it sort of goes up and then it comes down and then it sort of evens out, right? Let's see what one more looks like. Let's see if we could, yeah, there we go, right? So it kind of goes up 
a little bit and then it starts to come down and then they did a last push this weekend on that thing. Let me just do one more, just, just curious because sometimes these, these patterns kind of change so much. Yeah, there we go, right? So it go up, come down and then up again and then come down. Okay, so what's the trend here, okay? The trend is um, I can't do sustained 13 hours a day work. That's on that, by the way, that's 13 hours pure computer time. Right? That's not tracking any time I have with my family or doing any single external stuff. Right, That's just pure computer time. But it's impossible to sustain, to sustain 100% all work all the time with no, no breaks or any single thing in between. So naturally, if you do a really, really high day, you're going to have sort of a slightly lesser day the next day and a slightly next day until you kind of recover and then you go back again. That goes for exercise and gym. That goes for running. That goes for any single thing almost in life, right? So most people evaluate how much time they have in a week. That's the problem. They evaluate how much time they have in a week. But the problem is not your time. The problem is your energy. So what you really need to do is you need to start reframing the conversation to think about how much energy do I actually have? And if I have the energy to do the task, what are the most important things that I need to focus on? Because I only have so much energy. So this is how I like to think about it. And this is by no means a like a, this is sort of like a very, very rough calculation. So in a week, I sp let's say I do 70 hours total, total um, work on average, right? 70 hours, which is, you know, now, 70 hours of pure computer time, not making phone calls or any single thing. So it's a little bit higher, but let's go with 70 hours for this conversation, okay? So in 70 hours, this is suggesting that my um, productivity this week, which is pretty high, is 81%. Now, normally it's not this high. Normally it's about 71. That's more of an average, right? So out of that 70 hours a week, my productivity level on average, right? is about seven is is um is uh 70 percent okay so that means it's roughly 50 hours that i'm very productive or or you know i'm, I'm doing decent with my productivity level roughly 50 hours a week okay of pure productivity so then the question is i'm still at 50 hours i'm still not 100 percent productive all the time okay I'm still not 100%. So now I need to break that down even further. Now I need to break that down to, of that 50%, how much am I, do I think I'm truly productive? And, and in my opinion, it's about half divided by two. So it's about 24%. It's about 24%. So in any single work week, right? That's what, that is. Um, so the other way to think about that, okay, so let, let's say 25 by, uh, what was it? What would you go, 70? Right, so that's thirty-five percent. So at any given week, and and I think that that's even high. I think your your number of true productivity time, true energy level, where you're like at your maximum keep peak capacity, is between twenty to thirty percent of whatever you work at at any given time in any single week. Okay, so then you got to start asking your questions. Okay, you got a couple questions that you need to ask yourself. One, what is the most important thing? Like, what is the most important thing that I need to focus on to get things done? That's number one you need to ask yourself. The second thing you need to do, so, so sorry, let me break that down a little bit more. So, for example, is the most important thing this week to make money? In other words, push sales, marketing, etc., so I could increase my leads or whatever. Is the most important thing to fix a bug in your application or whatever it is that you're doing, right? Is the most important thing to manage your pro this a specific project right but again i want to stress you might have all three of these things as important things but the question is what is the absolute most important thing that you need to focus on all right and then that is where you need to take and allocate into that 20 to 30 percent pr productivity time so if you break that down if you break that down even further right that 24 or whatever number it came up to it translates to roughly two to three hours per day of productivity, period. That's it. That's all you got. That's all you got. Every single thing else is just like fluff on top, right? So in that two to three hours per day, right, whether it's 
if you're a morning person like myself, I like to get up at 3 a.m. I know it sounds a little crazy, but that's the time that I like to get up at, sometimes at 2. But for the most part, 3, 4, 5, those are my times. So in that two-hour window, nothing else matters. But the most important thing, that's it. The most important. Every single thing else is icing in on the cake. All right? So if you can do that, you would be able to develop a system that would work for you. That would allow you to um, to effectively get things done because you you've allocated your highest energy level when your brain is at its peak to focus in on the most important things and then obviously when you're slightly off your peak you can focus on slightly less important things and when you're on the sort of off game you can focus on less important things and for example like I hate billing billing is one of those things that I hate but it's also an important thing what I try to do is I'll try to shove it down to the weekend on a Saturday morning, I'll just try to get it out the way kind of deal, right? But I'm fine with not being very productive with doing billing. So I'll watch a YouTube video or listen to a podcast while I do billing. And then I'll stop the podcast just to double check the numbers before sending out, right? So that's kind of the idea. But the point is, if you could allocate and focus on the most important thing within those 20 to 30 hours, that will allow you to really manage your energy level not necessarily your time which is what most people focus on so anyway that's my advice for you um hopefully i didn't ramble too much in this video and that's it thank you have a wonderful day